when we talk about Mekong country, we talk about one of the richest region of the world, the region that still have natural resources, the yeah, region that back to only less than 15 years ago, for example, in Laos, 80% of the Lao people still using the natural resources directly for their daily life. First, uh, the Kong River is a source of their uh, fisheries. And second, it's a source for their agriculture activities. Third, also it's uh, the source for their waterway transport. I mean, until now, there's been relatively little um, dam construction on the Mekong River aside from in Thailand. And in some ways, like the fact that the Mekong hasn't been dammed is fortunate for the region because it remains central to food security. The Mekong region's countries' economies uh, have started to accelerate and grow. The, um, there's been increasing interest in building large dams on the Mekong River's tributaries and on its mainstream. Um, in this, Yet well, certainly there's a, there's a strong move from developers to develop the, the hydropower potential on, the, on, on both the tributaries and the mainstream. The hydropower resources of the basin are only exploited so far about 5 or 10 percent of the, of the potential. But they, like any other project, dams are they're, they're sensitive, we all know that, and there are pluses and minuses which need to be taken into account. For sure at the moment uh, there are uh, 53 dams that are going to be built. The, either they exist already or they are in, in under construction or they have been committed, firmly committed. But there are plans for many more. Uh, at least 212 as of today. These um, proposals have significant implications for the ecosystems and for the people of the Mekong River. I um,特別是這兩年的經濟的發展,經濟,咁,因為有越來越多的建設係會喺,即係南方美工學園,我係會落成,咁,即係包括,交,即係一啲橋啊,公路啊,鐵路啊,誒,所以電池,所以,所以發
the Mekong Delta is one of the, I mean, it's central to Vietnam's food production. It produces, I think, 40% of the rice crop um, and around the same amount of the fruit crop. Building dams on the mainstream will reduce the sediment transport to the Mekong Delta, which is already at risk from climate change. Thì dĩ nhiên chúng ta đều biết là uh, ở Trung Quốc, những con đập ở Trung Quốc thì chắc chắn nó sẽ tác động đến Lào. Và những con đập ở Lào lại tăng thêm cái tác động của nó đến cái khu vực Campuchia và sau đó là đến Việt Nam. Uh, thì những cái tác động này uh, nó càng ngày nó càng càng uh, thể hiện rõ hơn. Uh, là các cái chế độ nước nó sẽ không còn như trước đây nữa. À, vào mùa khô thì chúng tôi sẽ bị à, hạn hán, à, thiếu nước à, và vào cái mùa mưa thì có thể là à, lượng nước nó không còn đủ để mà nó đem phù sa đến cho cái đồng ruộng của nó cũng như là không đủ để mà à, giúp cho cái việc thao chua rửa phèn ở tại cái khu vực đồng bằng sông Cửu Long. Two is that the benefit is not coming back to the people. People learn that people who, in the community that used to be very rich, they became very poor after the dam. It's not that we're against dams, but we believe that people should be adequately compensated. And we believe that poor people, the people whose lives are integrated with the river, need to be given special consideration. If these dam projects are really profitable, and they're really going to you know, help society, then that shouldn't be a problem. You take those profits and you pay people and compensate them properly for the lives of the projects. But I don't see that being proposed. I think I mean, the reason why less dams are being built in uh, Western countries nowadays is simply because there's better energy options. So dams are being removed because the like the electricity or the irrigation, like the the resources that it provides, doesn't make sense. And there's better ways to use a river than damming it. I think that's probably too much of a simplification. The uh, I mean, hydropower certainly is a, an old technology. It's been around for more than 100 years, and uh, uh, many parts of Europe and uh, North America have exploited and developed a large percentage of their hydropower potential. The areas of, of Asia, whether it's Southeast Asia or South Asia, have only tapped a, a small percentage of that uh, potential. Yeah, 不洗水壩、其他东西 nhưng mà chúng ta quên việc phát triển là để đi tìm cái hạnh phúc kể cả những nước ở hà thượng nguồn và ở hạ nguồn đều phải suy nghĩ và tôi nghĩ là uh, cái trách nhiệm ở đây phải là cái trách nhiệm về tinh thần